What's one thing you can't leave home without? Uh, can't leave the house without my six shooter. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> For real? My briefcase, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So my role at Ferro Built is I am the founder and CEO of the company. What I do is I try to inspire other leaders together with me to take this company to where we see it and to the vision that we have for it. One of the biggest things I do is motivating people and trying to coach and help people get better every day. And I'm really passionate about that. I really enjoy seeing other people progress and get better in their, not just at, at work and what they do, but in their personal lives as well and in their own personal development. When I first got into construction, I was house framing in Calgary and I just loved how you'd take this set of drawings on paper and turn it into something that you could physically see. And to me, I remember at the time describing it as a puzzle. And it was like, you just look at the drawings, you have to cut your own puzzle pieces, but you're taking this picture just like a puzzle and you're making it into something physical that you can see, you can touch, you can drive by it 10 years from now and say, hey, I built that. Uh, my favorite part about post frame construction in particular is that it's just such a simple and strong way to build. It's right from the foundation to the roof is solid and connected. And I feel like it's just a really solid and adaptable way to build. It's also easy to renovate and do stuff to it later. So that's why I like it because it's simple and it's strong. One of the most memorable projects for me is the Caravan Farm Theater Decagon we did a few years ago. The reason it's memorable is just because it was such a unique shape. We haven't done anything before and we haven't done anything since that was like that. It was just really pretty cool to work on something that's got 10 sides is basically a circle and to work with the engineers to come up with something that would work and that we could build. And there were so many intricate cuts and stuff you had to think about and the way it was built that really challenged us and pushed us to the max of our abilities at the time to be able to design and build that building. Common misconception about construction that I'd really like to clear up is that a lot of people see it, um, especially when you're getting into it as just a part time or like we'll do it for now till we find something better. Or maybe people see it as a fallback option. And I would really like to see more people see it as a career. And when you're coming up through high school to go when you say, you know what, I'm not going to go to university, I actually want to get into construction, that it's a good thing. And it's seen as a good thing. Because right now, for every seven people that retire out of construction, there's one coming in. So there's so much opportunity in construction. And we're the next 10 years, we're going to see that we're going to need a lot of people in construction. So I'd like to clear up that misconception. And we're doing our best to show that and to create careers here at Ferro Built that are going to be careers that people can, they can work here their whole lives and grow and develop and not just be stuck in one place. So I actually grew up in East Pine, BC, Northern BC. Uh, it's in between Chetwin and Dawson Creek. Beautiful area. Loved it. It was, I loved growing up there and had a great childhood and growing up years there. Still have a couple friends and some family up there. And what I love about BC in general is just the difference in terrain throughout the province. You can go up there where I was raised, where you're almost into some prairie and mountains, down to here in the Okanagan where there's lakes and mountains. You can go out to the coast and get into almost like rainforest type environment or whatever you want to call that. It's just so cool how much diversity there is in the province and different ecosystems and different types of environments. A uh, hobby I really enjoy is snowmobiling in the winter. Most people that know me would know that that's one of the, my favorite things to do. It's something that's just a thrill and it's a blast to get out there and explore and see country that you otherwise would never see. Uh, it's hard to think of just one book that's had a significant impact on me. I've started reading a lot and have found a lot of books that are very interesting and that have helped me personally and with the business. I think one that's had probably one of the greatest impacts on me recently would be Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. It's a really good book that talks you through how to get more time in your life and how to figure out what you should do to, to buy back more time and how you can do it. It really gives you the how to do it more than just a theory like some books do something that like maybe a lot of people that don't know me wouldn't know about me i do have a wife and three little girls that are a lot of fun i can't think of something else that people wouldn't know about me right now 
Uh, there's a lot of places I'd love to visit. One of them actually pretty high on the list is New Zealand. We actually have some in-laws there and it'd be cool to see them, but cool to see the whole country as well. And also Australia while we're there. So someday we're gonna go there and check it out. I think it'd be super cool to see. And another place I'd really like to go is Argentina. In the summer, they get piles of snow and I think it'd be so cool to go there and do a sledding trip there sometime. One person that's been a really big inspiration to me is a fella named Tommy Mello in the States. He wouldn't remember, but I met him once a little bit at an event, but follow along with what he's doing. And he has a huge garage door company down there. And one of his biggest things is elevating his employees and giving them a chance to get better and to improve their lives financially and just overall their, their whole quality of life. And so it's a big inspiration to me because he's doing what I wanna do 